index laws overview. So this is a reminder now that we know the five index laws and the zero index law as to how we use them. A reminder that index notation, notation means a way of writing things, index means a power. This is index form, when I write a number or a letter to a power. So the whole thing there, index form. The big number or letter is the base number and the little number is the index, although some people will call it a power. So this is 3 to the power of 4, which means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Four threes all multiplied together. This is expanded form. When I write it not as a power but as a multiplication. And I can get an answer for that 3 to the power 4 using my calculator. 3 the power key 4 equals, that's 81, and if I get asked to evaluate, I want my number answer. My index laws are shortcuts of ways of dealing with multiplying and dividing various other things with things in index notation, with powers. The first two index laws, these are sort of an illustration of them, are when I've got the same base number and I'm multiplying or dividing two powers. So laws 1 and 2 work when I've got the same base number being multiplied, law 1, or divided, law 2. The rule that will give us the shortcut, when I'm multiplying two powers with the same base, I add the indices. This will be A, we keep the same base number, and the power will be M plus n. So an example, 3 to the 4 times 3 to the 5, same base number, same base number in my answer, add the powers, 4 plus 5 is 9. Law 2 is the opposite because I'm dividing, and dividing is the opposite of multiplying. So my answer, when I've got the same base number, of two powers and I'm dividing them, keep the same base number and subtract the indices. So an example, x to the 10 divided by x to the 3, keep the same base number of x, 10 minus 3 is 7. So that's laws 1 and 2 and they go together. Same base numbers, multiplying or dividing, add or subtract the powers, the indices. Law 3, 4, and 5 are all to do with brackets. So if you see brackets, you know it's laws 3, 4, or 5, and they often get combined. Law 3 says I've got a power in brackets, and I've got another index outside the bracket. And when I've got something to a power, it's raised to a power. So I've got a power in brackets to another power with another index outside the brackets. And the rule is I'll keep the same base number and I will multiply the indices. So my example for that one might be 10 squared to the power of 3 
keep the same base, 2 times 3 is 6. Law 4 and 5 are very closely related. This is a fraction, but remember, a fraction is a division. So again, I've got a times 1 and a divide 1. And again, they're when I've got brackets, and it's when I've got a multiplication or a division in brackets. So I'm just writing here when I know I've got to use law 4 and 5, which is the same thing I did up on these other ones. So you see, I've still got things in brackets to a power, and so I'm still going to use this multiply power and power. Law 4 says if I'm multiplying two things in brackets, that will be both of them separately multiplied to that power that's outside. So an example is 6x to the power 3. That will be 6 to the power 3 times x to the power 3. And in that case, I could simplify that 6 to the power 3 216x to the power 3. Same rule but for division. If I've got a fraction to a power in the brackets, take it out of the brackets and put the top to the power over the bottom to that power. A half squared is the same as 1 squared over 2 squared. Top squared, bottom squared. And the zero index rule, anything to the power of zero equals one. So a to the zero equals one. So that is the laws, all neatly explained and revised. And we need to be able to use the index laws at any time. Now there's some words we need to know. Evaluate means find a number answer. Sorry, I got a bit messy there. So if your index laws ask you to find a number answer, you'll use your index laws and then use your calculator if you need to, to evaluate. 2 squared times 2 to the 3. Same base number multiplied, that's index law 1. Same base number, add the powers, and evaluate means let's get a number answer now. 2 to the power 5 is 32. 2 thirds squared. This is in brackets and it's a fraction. Index law 5. Separate out 2 squared over 3 squared. And we can probably do this in our head. 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, because they wanted me to evaluate, get a number or a fraction answer. We see zero powers. That means the zero index law. Evaluate. I want a number answer, but do show working. 6 to the zero is 1. Plus, now the 2 isn't in the brackets here, only the 3 is to the power 0, so this means 2 times 1. And 1 plus 2 times 1 is 1 plus 2, which is 3. So by showing working, you show that you really understand this. When it says to expand using index laws and there's brackets, it means use the index laws to get rid of the brackets. It doesn't mean expanded form unless it says write in expanded form. So expand using index laws means get rid of the brackets with the index laws. Power and a power. Index law 3. Multiply the indices. Keep the same base number x to the 12. Things in a bracket raised to a power. This is a product. That will be index law 4. Each of these gets raised to the power 2. 3 squared 
And x squared squared goes back to multiplying the powers. It will be x to the 4. And when I've got a number power and a letter power in my answer, I get the number power to be a whole number evaluated. This will be 3 squared is 9, 9x4. This one's a combination of two index laws. There's a product on the top, a multiplication, and there's a fraction. Getting kind of complicated. But I know index laws 4 and 5, I've just got to put every different thing in the brackets to the outside power. This will be on the top 2 cubed, y cubed, and on the bottom, x squared cubed, I have to multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. And remember, I've got a number power in with some letter powers. 2 cubed is 8. 2 times 2 times 2. It's not 6. Be careful. 8y3 over x6. Getting a bit complicated there. So that's what we need to do if they say to evaluate or to expand. If they ask you to simplify, you just need to choose the right index law and leave it in index form. Five to the ten divided by five to the three. It's a division. There's no brackets. Law two. Subtract the indices. That will be 5 to the 10 minus 3 is 7. Leave it in index form because they said simplify. 8, over, 8 to the power of 5 over 8 to the power of 3. Looks tricky. It's index law 2 in disguise because a fraction is a division. If you're worried, rewrite it. 8 to the 5 divided by 8 to the 3. That's easy. Subtract the powers. It's 8 to the 2. Or recognize that it's a division, 8 to the 5 divided by 8 to the 3. Work out that we do 5 minus 3. x to the power of 4 divided by x. Again, this is still, still index law 2. Remember when there's no power, there's an invisible 1. So this will be x to the power of 4 minus 1 is 3. Now sometimes we will get combined index laws questions. Simplify these. Multiplication, same base number, no brackets. So I know I've got index law 1. When there's a whole number out the front of my power, I multiply the whole numbers. So 2 times 3 is 6. And then I deal with the index laws. x cubed and x7 multiplied. So I add the powers. Whole numbers get dealt with like we normally would. This is a fraction, 8 over 6. You can just divide that out or use your um, calculator sometimes to do 8 over 6. Simplifies to 4 over 3. So my whole numbers don't get index laws. These aren't powers. I can't use the index laws. I've just got to treat that as a normal fraction and simplify it, then I've got this division, x cubed divided by x squared, well that would be x1, I don't need to write the 1, y4 divided by y2, y squared. I might want to rewrite that fraction because it got a bit messy there. So that's getting some tricky stuff happening. And the last one, I've got a fraction in brackets to a power, so that's law 5, but I've also got products in the fraction, so that's law 4. We'll have to do the top to the power 4 over the bottom to the power 4. That's got rid of the fraction problem, and now I can treat each of these as a law 4 problem and expand 2 to the power 4 x to the power 8, y to the power 4, over 3 to the 4, z to the 8. And I would evaluate these numbers as well. Sorry, my video is getting pretty long. 16x8 
8y4, 3 to the power of 4, I'd grab my calculator, 81 